Hi there. Thank you so much for joining me today. This is Julie DiMatteo from thepaperpixie.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the U.S. And in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this gift box that is sized to fit one of the Bath & Body Works fragrance mists. This is the three ounce bottle and it's a really great sized gift box. I'm sure you can fit so many other things in this. The finished size measures one and five eighths by one and five eighths by five and a quarter inches. And it features many items from the Perennial Essence product suite. I love this little flower top. We use some clear embossing powder on it and this beautiful Perennial Essence designer series paper. So I'm so excited to show you how to make this. It's really easy to do. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm starting with a piece of Blackberry Bliss cardstock that measures seven inches by 10 inches. And along the seven inch side, we're gonna score this at one and five eighths three and a quarter, four and seven eighths, and six and a half. I'm gonna rotate the piece clockwise and then we're gonna score this at one and five eighths, six and seven eighths, and eight and a half. Next, I'm gonna fold and burnish on all the score lines. And then I'm gonna bring in a template here. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is focus on the bottom section here. And I'm gonna first work on this little side tab. So I'm gonna come in, we're only gonna be leaving just this section of the side tab. So I'm gonna come in and notch. And then I'm gonna cut up each of these vertical score lines along the bottom. Now the bottom is the side that just has the one section versus the top, which has two sections. So I'm gonna cut up each of these vertical score lines, stopping at that horizontal score line. Okay, now this second panel in from the right, we're gonna leave this one untouched, but I'm gonna come in in the first and third panels from the right. I'm just gonna remove half, and I'm just eyeballing this. Like that, and then I'm just gonna remove about a 16th to an eighth of an inch sliver from the end of this last tab. And that just gives the box a nice finish when we close off the bottom. I'm gonna come in these two short tabs and notch those in. And the bottom cutting is finished. So now we're gonna focus on the top. Again, I only wanna leave this one long section for the side tab. So I'm gonna come in and notch there. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna cut up each of these vertical score lines, but stopping at the second horizontal score line. All right, and I'm gonna turn this sideways so we can see this. So this first section, we're gonna go ahead and remove the entire top section and then half of the second section. The next section over, we're gonna remove completely both sections. The third section, we're removing this first section and half of the second. And then we're leaving this last part untouched for now. So now we have these two tabs here. I'm gonna come in and notch those, like so. And then now we're gonna go ahead and use the delightful tag topper punch. I love this punch. Now, the width of this section is one and five eighths of an inch. The trays in this punch are one inch, one and a half, and two inches. But I wanted to show you, even though this doesn't match the width of any of these trays, you can still use this punch easily. So I'm just gonna feed that section in and push it all the way to the back. I'm gonna flip this punch over because I wanna make sure that I can see exactly where I'm punching. Now I've made sure that this edge is pushed all the way inside the punch. And then I'm trying to center the right and the left sides of that paper in kind of the scallops of that punch. See how that's centered there? And then I'm just gonna punch. And now we have that really cool tag topper punch there. So there's the template. There will be a picture of this in my detailed blog post, but this now matches the template. Now the next step before we put the box together is to adhere the designer series paper. This is that beautiful perennial essence designer series paper. I have four pieces that measure one and a half inches by five and one eighths inches. And I have one piece that measures one and a half by one and a half inches. We're gonna adhere these long panels to the long sections on the box. 
and then the square panel to this section on the top. I'm going to go ahead and do that with multi-purpose liquid glue. Okay, now it's time to put our box together. I'm going to go ahead and flip this over. I'm going to fold on the second score line from the left. I'm going to put liquid glue along this tab here. You could also use tear and tape or your adhesive of choice. And I'm going to fold on the first section from the right, and that should fold right into place. We'll make sure that's good and adhered. Okay, so that is where our seam is. This is the back of the box. So we're considering this the back tab. So what I'm going to do is fold these two short tabs in. That's why we cut those in half so we don't have any paper bulk on the bottom. I'm going to put liquid glue on each of those tabs just because we want this to be a sturdy box. And then liquid glue on that front tab. So that's the one that we didn't cut the little sliver off of. So we're going to fold the back tab and see how we've got it comes a little bit short. That's going to make sure that this is going to line up right where we want it to without any of the other tabs paper getting in the way. And I'm just folding that into place and squaring it up. The liquid glue gives us a little bit of wiggle room here. And then we can take our fragrance mist, put that inside the box and press that down into place. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and stamp the sentiment. I'm using the stamp set Well Said and the sentiment, My Life is Better Because You're In It. This is a double stamp set full of fantastic sentiments. I recommend adding this to your stash. We're going to stamp that in Blackberry Bliss onto Whisper White. Then I'm just going to take my paper snips and just fussy cut around the sentiment. So it looks like that. And then I'm just going to glue that to the front of this tab on our box. And I'm coming down about an eighth of an inch from that top score line, like so. Now let's go ahead and put our fragrance mist in the box, folding those tabs in, and then I'm going to show you a really cool closure for this box. I'm going to get this beautiful petal pink organdy striped ribbon, and I'm going to wrap that around the back of the box. And I'm going to cut about, I don't know, I'm eyeballing this here, maybe 16 inches or so of this ribbon. It's beautiful to work with and very easy to tie bows. So I'm going to take those ends and I'm going to feed them up through the back side of that tab. So through the hole that the punch created. We'll just pull those through. Kind of see the mechanism of that, that ribbon coming around the box and through the hole is actually going to hold this box together at the top of this box. And then I'm just going to go ahead and tie a bow. And this ribbon actually makes it really easy to tie beautiful bows. But you'll see that that ribbon is going to pull that little tab down and hold it into place. How cool is that closure? I love that. Love this paper on this box. Now we're not finished. We're going to add our beautiful flower topper to this box. And let me show you how we're going to do that. We've got two pieces of the Perennial Essence vellum cardstock. This is the petal pink and the old olive. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp from the Floral Essence stamp set, both this two of this petal and two of these leaves. We're going to stamp that in Versamark with clear embossing powder. And we're going to go ahead and heat emboss those. Now the Floral Essence Bundle comes with the stamp set and the Perennial Flower Punch. Love this bundle. But the other really cool thing, if you already have this in your stash, is the Leaf Punch coordinates with this stamp in the set. All right, so I'm going to grab my Versamark here. We're going to try to do all of this at once to try to save some time. I've got my clear embossing powder here in a little Systema container. And then we're going to go ahead with our stamps here. So I'm going to start with the leaf. Dip that into the embossing powder here. OK, so that one's ready. Then we're going to grab this perennial flower. You want to make sure that the point is pointing upwards at the 12 o'clock. All right, now these are ready to heat emboss with the heat tool. Look how beautiful those look. I love that clear embossing on the vellum. I'm going to grab my punches and punch those all out. 
All right, and with the magic of mini glue dots, we're gonna assemble this. So the first thing I'm gonna do to give this flower a little bit of dimension is just take my bone folder, the vellum between the bone folder and my thumb, and I'm just curving those petals. All right, then I'm gonna grab mini glue dots. I'm just gonna do a trio, and I'll just pick one of the petals, sticking the glue dots to the back side. And don't worry if you see them through the vellum, we're gonna hide it with a floral center. Then I'm just gonna layer that on top of the other petals. Ugh, I love this flower. Then I'm just gonna grab glue dots and put them on the front side of these leaves, right there at the intersection, if you can see that, right there. And then we can just layer these strategically behind the petals. I'm gonna grab a perennial essence floral center here. These are so cool. They already have the adhesive on the back. Make a little dimensional. And we can stick that right in the center. It's gonna hide those glue dots. And then I'm gonna grab a trio of glue dots to the back of this beautiful flower that we just made. And then we can stick that on the top of our little gift box here like so. Look at that. I love that with the clear embossing powder. It gives it just really cool texture and dimension. And I just love the way that this box looks. What a special way to give one of those fragrance mists or other things in this great gift box with this beautiful paper, a really sweet sentiment. Perfect for a dear friend or to take as a hostess gift at a luncheon or a dinner. I love this little gift box. So thank you so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe and hit the bell right next to the subscribe button so you don't miss my next video. If you're interested in purchasing any of the Stampin' Up! products I use today, they'll be linked in the description. And I'll also include a link to my detailed blog post with all project measurements, details, and a picture of the template. I'd love to have you come visit me at thepaperpixie.com where I post projects every weekday to inspire you. I have options to subscribe to both my monthly newsletter as well as my daily blog updates and I'd love to welcome you as a new subscriber. You can shop with me anytime at thepaperpixie.com shop. And if you're interested in a discount on your Stampin' Up! purchases, I'd love to welcome you to my team of paper pixies. And you can purchase the starter kit at thepaperpixie.com slash join. If you give this project a try, I'd love to see what you made. So feel free to share it on social media with the hashtag paperpixie, and I'll be sure to check it out. Thanks again for watching. I hope you have a wonderful and blessed day. Take care. Bye.